I'm Michael Nelson, the, the CEO of Intramune Therapeutics. We are a clinical stage biotechnology company developing a platform technology for the, the treatment of food allergies. Our treatment is delivered while a, a patient brushes their teeth. Uh, we were proud to be selected last year as a, a winning startup at the Innovate Challenge, uh, Children's Health Challenge and uh, thank the, the Center for Advancing Innovation for inviting us to the Social Impact uh, Demo Day today, so thank you. Uh, for a biotech company, we have relatively low uh, development risk. We have a number of value inflection points uh, coming up. And uh, you know, a comparator was recently acquired for, for $2.6 billion with a product that, that very few patients actually want to use. Just to demonstrate the, the potential size of the market, we are currently raising $45 million. We picked off our Series B, but we are in the process of closing on uh, a convertible note. So if there's interest, uh, please reach out to me I, at uh, mnelson at intramune.com. Uh, happy to, to talk to you about it. We are developing um, uh, treatments because we really believe in our mission. The whole team believes in our mission. We are developing simple, safe, and effective health solutions for individuals suffering with food allergies so that they and their loved ones can live their lives without fear. And this is really important because people who have food allergies, their, their entire families live in fear. Uh, children are often ostracized. They have to sit at a separate table during lunch. Uh, they're bullied. Uh, parents of children with food allergies often have uh, what's equivalent to, to PTSD. They have clinically higher uh, blood pressure. Uh, it, it's really a very difficult way uh, to go through life. Uh, we have a very experienced team. Our um, team has, has raised over um, $8 billion collectively. There's a huge unmet need. Uh, as I mentioned before, we're a relatively low risk allergy immunotherapy company. Uh, we have global exclusive rights to, to all of our IP. Our goal is to develop a simple, safe, and uh, efficacious product. Uh, we have high expected return on investment. Uh, the one company that, was, you know, that has ever developed a, a food allergy uh, immunotherapy was recently acquired for 2.6 billion. Only one in 10 patients want to use their product. Allergy and Asthma Network did a survey. Nine out of 10 patients uh, were willing to use our product. Um, and we have uh, multiple opportunities in terms of uh, pipeline, multiple foods. Uh, we are raising $45 million, uh, but we are looking to, to close on a convertible note in, uh, in the next uh, few weeks. Uh, we have a pro proven leadership team. I won't spend a lot of time on it because we, we don't have a huge amount of time, but We've been able to track this team, not because we've raised a huge amount of money at this point, but because these people believe in our, our mission. Uh, I will highlight uh, Stuart Lesh. Uh, you know, he gets an offer for a new job every week. Uh, he is a fantastic addition. Uh, why do we have a chief commercial officer so, so early in our process? And it's because we want to develop products that, that patients are going to want to use, that providers are going to want to use, uh, that, that payers will, will pay for. And uh, Stuart's been really instrumental in, in helping us, even with our, our clinical program, but also developing how we, we're gonna get paid for, for what we're doing. Uh, we've also spent a lot of time on, on our regulatory and our chemistry and manufacturing. We also have a, a great team of advisors. I won't go into it, but, but some, some of the top names in, in the space. Food allergies, worldwide, there's over 220 million people with food allergies. Nine foods make up over 90% of food allergies, so our pipeline is laid out in front of us, but, but our first target is peanut allergy. Peanut allergy just in the United States, just for peanut, is over $7 billion total adjustable market. Uh, the one product that's been approved is has you eat uh, peanut protein. Uh, they're priced at close to $11,000 per year. Payers pay for reduced adverse events. You don't want patients needing to go to the emergency room. About 14% of their patients do need to do that. Uh, patients, uh, payers pay for better adherence. We're brushing your teeth. It's, it's incorporated right into your daily routine. Uh, there's 6 million people in the U.S. with peanut allergies. About 1.6 million of them are children. We, we expect about 700,000 people could eventually go on our product. Each patient on our product uh, lifetime worth is probably about $100,000. Um, as I mentioned, that's just peanut, just in the U.S. Outside the U.S., there's, it might even be a bigger market in Europe. Um, there's a other foods, obviously, uh, and we have started working on the, on the pipeline. We actually have a team um, went, headed up by Wendy who is um, uh, developing our pipeline. What we do is, is very straightforward. We take uh, the proteins that people are, are allergic to, we incorporate it into a fully functional toothpaste, and you get your, your allergy immunotherapy when you brush your teeth. 
This is really important because we know allergy immunotherapy works if you do it consistently. And the one thing 98% of Americans do every day is, is brush their teeth. So we, we, we have this great uh, product that integrates right into your routine. Uh, there's also a whole consumer goods aspect to this. So, so there's the potential for partnering, not just with pharma companies, but with electric toothbrush manufacturers. We could keep track of, of um, when you're brushing, how long you're brushing, we could gamify it. Um, and, and there's a lot of potential partners also, you know, toothpaste companies. So, so we're really excited about all the different aspects here. What we do, we know that if you take peanut protein and you deliver it uh, to the area under the tongue, you get near, um, uh, you know, similar efficacy as eating peanut protein, uh, which is oral immunotherapy, the one product that's been approved. Yet we contact about 12 times the surface area. We contact more optimal parts of the mouth. Uh, we could get our concentration, our dosing much higher. Uh, you spit it out. So you avoid a lot of the systemic adverse events. And of course, it's built right into your routine. So you get that built in uh, adherence. We are in the middle of our clinical uh, study or our phase one, two study in, in adults uh, showing safety and efficacy. We've gone back to the FDA a couple of times and said, can we get more data? Because this is just going so well. Uh, to date, we haven't had any uh, severe adverse events. I mentioned 14% of patients on the, on the one product that's been approved uh, end up needing uh, emergency epinephrine. We haven't even seen moderate adverse events. So, so we're seeing unbelievable safety uh, adherence. 99.7% of patients are, are brushing every day. We're getting really great results. And we are seeing um, uh, adverse events decrease even as we up, dose, up the uh, dose every two weeks. Uh, so we are um, showing some potential desensitization. Uh, this is our, our timeline. That's um, the 45 million is to get us about two and a half years is to get us through the end of our phase two studies. Uh, but we are getting a number of uh, inflection points as we move along. Their um, uh, uh, company, Amun, was the one that was bought for 2.6 billion. All Adapt just raised 119 million dollars. It's another or oral immunotherapy, another product that you have to eat. Uh, DBV just raised close to 200 million dollars. It's a skin patch. It, it, the product's not particularly efficacious. It was always considered the, the safe uh, route. Um, we actually saw uh, a number of cases of, of needing epinephrine in, in their last study. So they're no longer um, uh, necessarily the, the safest route. We're, we're, our goal is to be the easiest to use, the safest, and the most efficacious. Uh, we do have global IP uh, through 2034. We are looking to extend that through 2044. Uh, two families, over 45 uh, patents have issued to date. We've raised uh, in our Series A, which is closed, we raised over $6 million. Uh, as I mentioned, our, our Series B, we've done a huge amount. I'm happy to, to talk about what we've done with, with the, the Series A capital. We still have money in the bank, so we still have some roadway and um, you know, what the, the, the goals for the, for the phase two. Uh, but in short, uh, it's a revolutionary pen commercial grade toothpaste. It does replace that toothbrushing. Uh, we expect long-term efficacy. We have a number of reasons why we think we, we, um, we could be more efficacious than, than the one product that's out there. Uh, high expected return on investment. We've seen uh, unbelievable safety to date. Uh, it's built right into your, your daily routine and there is the potential for, for multiple products uh, going forward. So thank you very much and I'll open up to questions.